Hello again, it's me, Gylene. <laughs> What's up guys? So I taunted it on Instagram and here is my Hello Taco PR box. No, it's definitely not PR, I bought it. But there are going to be um, at least 50 ads pop up in this video just so I can pay for this Hollow Taco. Here we go. I also don't have money for fancy music. There it is, the hollow taco. It's really pretty. I love the box. How much did it cost? Um, I don't remember. It was like 70 bucks with shipping. All right, props number one there, Christine, because only a true swatcher or nail artist that has to take any pictures or do videos with bottles of polish, no. Top priority is whenever you're holding the bottle and you flip it up, that label is straight. And I never see that hardly in anything that is not just um, indie brand. So they pay attention to the detail and have fantastic customer service and I love that. Um, this. I also like because she's got the rubbery, grippy lids, so it's easier to open. So that's great. And we have, this one is just a linear and it says linear, scattered, flaky, one coat black, and royal tea blue. So I'm going to be pitting these against my favorite one coat blacks the one coat black against brave steven nail polish on the black stamping polish and it is also a regular polish parrot polish pitch black as you see bam hit the bottle which is a black undies it's a peel off water base black and my favorite peel off base coat is Hit the Bottle, Keeping It Peel. I also like IMK Peelies. And then the Hollow Top Coats. We are going to be seeing if these two stamp also. I've got a few blues that are this color, but we're not going to really compare that. I just want to see the one, one coat blacks and the hollows. So I've got a couple of hollows to pit up against these also. Brave Steven Nail Polish. Hoshi and Parrot Polish OMG and Beach, yes, I'm going to be watermarling with these. What's on my other hand? It is a beautiful multi-chrome and it is from Tonic and it's Pixie Parade and it shifts gold and pink and blue and green and purple and it is so pretty really looking for her to come out with some um, multi-chromes because she does like those too Ben oh thank you for my coffee I'm also going to be testing these to see if they stamp and I'll be using a Maniology Nailsaurus M20 for that. I've also purchased extra cameras, so we'll have three camera angles and several ring lights, and it's really going to get fancy up in here. That's a lie. Now we're going to start with just doing swatch sticks. I am going to do my nails because I do want to you to see you know what it looks like straight on a nail and I started with hit the bottle keep an appeal on this hand little side note if you use peel off base coat directly on your naked little nails you are going to get staining it is going to turn yellow but I use a gel base and top coat as an overlay on my nails before peel off base coat and I don't have any issues my nails are not stained 
not yellow. But if you use just even a regular, really good base coat and then put peel off, you can still peel your polish off of that and not have yellow nail. This way we can zoom through the swatches to see the blackest, to see if we can tell the difference. And then we'll put the hollows over that and the painting and water marble will be last. I can't afford the sexy music, so. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, it's nice, it's smooth, it's definitely one coat. This is Hollow Taco, black, one coat. I, I missed a spot. Now let's see if I can keep from bumping them into each other. I'm going to be putting the respective Brave Stevie Nail Polish Hoshi over the Brave Stevie Nail Polish on the black. Smooth, nice, one coat black. I am going to put some Glisten and Glow Clear Shiny Fast Drying Top Coat over them. Um, um, yes, I paused when I thought I was recording the black undies, it's one coat too. Thought about testing another blue, but I do have a colors by LaRoe that is pretty much the same exact blue but this definitely builds up fine. It's a very, very pretty blue. Just the kind of blue that I would definitely gravitate to. Sam has rolled off his bed and can't get back on it. <laughs> Poor Sam. Mommy help you. You gonna help him, Pan Pan? Us chubs have problems, don't we, Sam? Poor fatty. I am going to be using Glisten and Glow. It is a thick one. I also really love Purple Willow's top coat. And they're scented. They're amazing. I love playing. Smell my finger. Oh, I just noticed it's got the little hollow taco on the top that looks kind of like a hamburger but whatevs and here's the linear oh that's gorgeous I think that is just the right amount it doesn't like overpower it and you could build it up a little too I'll have to turn my flash on when we get them all so you can see, but um, these are 12 mil and the other ones I have, these are all 15. Here we have scattered, so it's not going to be as packed and the glitters are a little heavier. 
a little thicker. Really pretty. There are um, two nice size balls in there. Like the balls in our polish. This one is flakies and little glitters and like bigger chunks, hence the flaky name. So this one just got bigger, like glass shard kind of pieces. So pretty. Although it is a little chunky, it's not laying really flat on there. And we'll see how it levels as it dries, but I don't, it, they're still going to stick up just because there's some, you know, chunky glitters in there. Hoshi from Brave Steven Nail Polish. So um, that is the closest to the scattered. They're close, but the Brave Steven Nail Polish is heavier. I use the same amount. I mean, I loaded them pretty good, but the Hoshi is a little more packed. And this is, oh my God, OMG. And it is definitely a flaky and it is for shizzle a lot more packed than the hollow taco a lot more packed there you go now I gotta say so Parrot Polish and Brave Steven All Polish are my absolute favorite indie brands. Here's a Savannah Lacquer Sugar Coat. This is another one of my favorites. Let's just use it on this one and see what we think. Mm, see, this one, this one is kind of um, more, kind of like a, a scattered linear. The Hollow Taco is on the top. The Brave Steven Nail is on the bottom. Savannah Lacquer on the top. Hollow Taco on the bottom. Parrot Polish on the top. Hollow Taco on the bottom. Let's zoom in and paint my nails. First up, Royal Tea. Now for the One Coat Black. one coat I did have a little problem but that was probably me just getting it smooth there so that is very nice both super shiny without a top coat I love that all right now I'm gonna put on my liquid Mandy Defender may or may not use this clear water marble polish from Glisten and Glow. Alright, the black spread really well. 
And then the blue is like, uh, nope. So cleaned that up and thought, well, let's try the blue first. And absolutely not, like, <laughs> repelled <laughs> from the water. So I moved on to Brave Steven Nail Polish. This blue is lighter, but close. Um, I do actually have blues closer, but didn't want to add any more brands. And I knew this one water marbled perfectly. If you want more detailed instructions on how to water marble, I have several videos, but I have one really good beginner's water marble. And I'll link that up above. And the little eye that pops up here. Ding! You want to score around your liquid latex right away. Don't let that dry on your finger or you'll be sorry. So the black did beautifully and the glisten and glow water marble clear. Um, I haven't had ever had any luck with clear polishes except for ones that are specified for water marble. And you can't buy those at Walmart. The needles I used are also linked below. They're just hat pins from Amazon. Now for the will they stamp test. I'm using my Maniology monocle stamper. My favorite scrapers are clear jelly stampers. I'm sorry about the voiceovers, but I'm trying to speed things along here because this video is supremely long. And the black picked up really well and even showed up pretty good over that dark blue. Happy with that. And now I'm just going to stamp them both over white. And they both look pretty good other than my scraping job there they're a little patchy but that's my fault so what did you guys think did you like them all uh, I just think they're all beautiful polishes they all performed exactly as they said they would one coat blacks 
the blue um, it takes two coats but it wasn't supposed to be a one coater um, all the hollow top coats one coat you do need to put a good quick dry over the top of them I don't know they're just all beautiful the parrot polish and brave Ziva nail polish they run anywhere from like eight nine dollars for creams to twelve fifty for hollows and multichromes and they are 15 mil bottles. The Holo Tacos were, I think, $12 a piece, and they are 12 mil bottles. And I did see that pre orders have opened, but you can shop indie brands anytime. Who do you think won, Penny? Hello? P Penny? Do you care who won? Lucas! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo!